Mail call. So, while I prepare the next video, I've received some new coins. And why not share them with you guys? We all love to just look at new stuff. So, let's have a peek. We've got five new coins. Four Romans from the 3rd century and a Byzantine. Let's start by this denarius of Severus Alexander, right before the Roman Empire dived into the crisis of the 3rd century. Pretty common piece, and a good choice for those interested in collecting denarii. But look at the reverse. It features Zeus, or in this case, Jupiter. And it's practically a copy of the design featured on the coin of Alexander the Great. It's not every day we see uh, an 1800-year-old coin copying a 2300-year-old design. Next, we jump further in time to the reign of Gallienus. And if you already collect Roman coins, you know Gallienus has some pretty miserable coinage, with basically no silver in it. So, it was a pleasant surprise to find this coin of earlier in his reign, which still has quite a respectable amount of silver in it. We can see the Emperor on the reverse, in military attire, and the die engraver <laughs> apparently was a bit lazy on his job, so instead of properly sculpting the shield, he just made it out of little dots. Next, we go to Claudius Gothicus, and if Gallienus's coinage was bad, Claudius's has it worse. So, it was a breath of fresh air to find this coin with all of its silvering still intact. The reverse is rougher, like in all of his coins, but it features Hercules with his club. Next, we have an emperor that's not very easy to find. That's Carus, who reigned from 282 to 283, so just one year of mintage for these coins. Nothing out of the ordinary, design-wise, except you can see the engraver actually portrayed him with his receding hairline. I like it, gives the coin a little bit more character. And finally, we give a huge leap forward to the 10th century, with Emperor Leo the Wise. I don't collect many Byzantines, but this portrait, this portrait has like a lot of character in it, and it just looks so medieval. We can see his title written in Greek, Leon Basileus Romaios, or Leo, King of the Romans. On the reverse, we have the legends, Leon, by the grace of God, King of the Romans. It's pretty cool seeing how 500 years after the fall of Rome, the Byzantines still still call themselves proudly like as full-fledged Romans. There we go, five new coins, all of them telling their special little story, and I'm pretty sure they will fit in just nicely with the rest of my collection. Hope you guys enjoyed, see you all soon!